All right, uh, data collection day. These treatments have been in. It's January 7th today. And so they've been in uh, for more than a week. So we are going to pull those uh, sticky papers out and I'm going to just slide them onto this cardboard to keep them from flopping around. Double check that what's written on the, on the uh, sheet is what's on the hive and then just stack them on top. I won't, I won't demonstrate uh, every single one but I'll give you an idea of what we're doing here and then we'll count them and we'll see if we got anything interesting. Now, we could have a whole lot of nothing here, but that's science, right? Clean of clubs. Clean of clubs. So I'll just keep stacking them up and then when I read them, I'll just peel them off one at a time. Okay, so now we're gonna do some data collection. I've got in the Varroa checker here, uh, some bees sucked off the bottom boards of the treatment hives. Now that, and by that I mean hives treated in the fall with some of the different uh, treatments and then i've got hives sucked from the bottom boards of a couple of the control hives so that means no treatment our theory is that these will have mites and these will not and now if they all have mites then I, that gives me more options to do some experiments uh, so we're doing two things. One is we're confirming some of the results from the fall test and we're also trying to determine if there are, now if there's no mites, that means that all my sticky boards here, uh, if they have no mites, that might mean, that doesn't mean our treatments don't work, but rather that there's no mites to find. So this is kind of crucial here, what's going on. Okay, so we shake and spin. I like to just put it on the bench and go like that. Been doing that for a while already. So let's have a look. And I think I see mites. Now it's a pretty dirty sample because that came off of the bottom board. So I I kind of figured it would be hard to read. So I've got my sieve here. This is a strainer cloth on a plastic ring. Bee supply houses often sell these for filtering honey. So I'm gonna pour those bees through this strainer and then through the filter. So the theory is that the bees are caught and the large objects are caught by the strainer and then the mites are caught by the filter. And if you want to be really thorough, you can even wash that off a bit more. All right, what do we have here? We just lost power in the shed. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, all right, well, I've walked around the farm and there's nothing wrong here. It looks like the uh, power's out over a fairly wide area. 
So this could be an interesting video. If the power, I figure I usually have an hour or two before I have to get some air moving in the shed. So <clears throat> we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, major outage like that, the hydro crews will, will get right on it and probably have things packed together. Usually our outages here are less than an hour, except in uh, very exceptional circumstances. All right, so now we are testing the second batch. Uh, this is the control batch of bees. So we're thinking that there should be mites in here. Now that's counting on the bees on the bottom board when I pulled up the supers to transfer them over to the screens would be representative of the bees in the hive. It could be that those mites like to stick a lot closer to the center of the cluster and we both and we get uh, negative samples here even though there are mites in the hive <clears throat> it's one way to get your workbench clean anyway They get a very dirty sample. There's no obvious mites there. Now the lighting isn't great. I don't think we got any mites. Have a look for yourself. Well, I'm... It's crazy to be disappointed in not finding mites, but so be it. Now, let's have a look at these stickies and see what we find. So this is the two of clubs. Negative. Jack of clubs. Negative. 
some probably a much smaller hive, less, less debris on the bottom board. And it's negative. Queen of clubs. Don't see any. Three of clubs. Ah, there's one. Right there. Okay, so three of clubs, one might. Now it's not going to really count as statistical significance, I don't think. There's another one. Two. Ah, no, there's more. One, two, three, that's include that's not including the one that we saw before. Three mites. Interesting. Okay. King of Clubs. Lots of crap here, but I don't see any mites. Queen of Clubs, very large amount of debris. Wonder why that is. And that's it. So we got one hit on this. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. So we'll have to look up <clears throat> what that three of clubs treatment was. And uh, then I'll have to rethink my program here because I'm not all right well I guess we up the dosage until we find some mites I think that would be probably a, a tactic to employ at this point all right that's it for today we'll go uh, the power has been out now for about 10 minutes if it's not back in a couple hours well then I'll turn on the camera and fire up the generator otherwise have a great day